Good morning, brothers and sisters. A common objection I hear is that the rapture is not in the Bible, or the word rapture is not in the Bible. Today we are going to address this. The event known as the rapture is seen in the following verses. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and thus we shall always be with the Lord. 1 Thessalonians 4, 16-17 Now in addressing their argument that the word rapture is not in the Bible, we need to keep in mind that the Latin Vulgate was the primary Bible translation utilized for 1,000 years preceding the Reformation. In short, the Latin Vulgate reigned as the primary Bible translation longer than any other translation. In the Latin Vulgate, the Greek word harpazo was translated rapumur, which is clearly related to our English terms rapture or raptured. So those detractors who argue that the term rapture does not appear in the Bible are only expressing their ignorance and are obviously unaware of the prominence of the Latin Vulgate translation in church history. Setting aside the argument that the word rapture, which is true, is not found in modern translations, the more important question is what does the original Greek word harpazo actually mean? Shall be caught up. This phrase harpazo means to take for oneself to choose, to raise up. It means to snatch away or up, to seize or seize upon, to steal, to catch away, to pluck or to pull. Harpazo meant to take suddenly and vehemently, often with violence and speed or quickly and without warning. The idea is to take by force with a sudden swoop and usually indicates a force which cannot be resisted. In eschatological terms, meaning future events, as in the present verse, herpazo refers to what is often known as the rapture, or the Latin word rapturo, seizing, rapo, seize, snatch. Harpazo thus can be translated by the verb to rapture, which describes the act of conveying or transporting a person from one place to another or from one sphere of existence to another. The English word rapture can also convey the idea of ecstasy as with one who is carried out of oneself with joy. But that is not the primary sense conveyed by the New Testament usage here in 1 Thessalonians. Harpazo was used of rescuing one from a situation of threatening danger as in snatching them out of the fire, Jude 1.23. Harpazo in secular Greek was used to describe the action of a wolf, which entered a flock of sheep and suddenly snatched up harpazoed a lamb, John 10, verse 12. The text says to meet the Lord in the air. Meet is the Greek word, which means to come opposite to, to meet, especially to meet face to face, and describes a meeting especially a meeting of two who are coming from different directions. In Greek culture, the word had a technical meaning to describe the visits of dignitaries to cities where the visitor would be formally met by the citizens, who had gone out from the city for this purpose and then would be ceremonially escorted back into the city. The Greek word was often used to suggest the meeting of a dignitary or a king a famous person, describing people rushing to meet the one who was coming. In Hellenistic Greek, the expression had become a kind of technical term, denoting a ceremonial meeting with a person of position. In papyrus usage, it was used of an actual delegation going forth to meet a newly appointed magistrate or other dignitary upon his arrival in their district. 
The picture portrayed is that the meeting occurs between the Lord coming from one direction and believers coming from another to meet together in the air. Now that word together is hama in the Greek. It's a marker of simultaneous occurrence at the same time, denoting the coincidence of two actions in time. Hama describes a point of time which emphatically simultaneously with another point of time. Here in verse 17, the Greek word depicts a simultaneous snatching up of bodies of both believers who are still alive and believers who had fallen asleep in Christ and had been resurrected prior to being raptured. Reginald Showers on the rapture notes, quote, Most theologians call this the rapture from the Latin verb rapto, which means to seize and carry off, because 1 Thessalonians 4.17 states that the church will be caught up to meet the Lord in the air. Other theologians have called this event the translation, taking that name from the Latin word translatio, transporting, transferring, because Christ will transport the church from one location to another at that time. In conclusion, we can see from studying the Greek words in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 that even though the word rapture is not in our English Bibles, we can trace the word or event back to the original Greek, and it means the same thing. This event is very biblical, and people that object to the rapture have a real problem with rejecting 1 Thessalonians 4.17. Something only has to be in the Bible once for it to be true. And yet, we see the event known as the rapture multiple times in the Bible, such as 1 Corinthians 15, 51-52. Maranatha.